uh, presenting the, the six finalists on the ladies' side. And uh, we can uh, run them by you. So uh, in uh, sixth place, run, coming out first, we've got Megan Lynch out of Rockville. After that, we've got Madison Fisher, just to the right of her. Um, Michaela Tracy, Kyra Condi, Petra Klingler, and Miho Nanaka. I mean, if you're going to look at a finals lineup, this is a World Cup's finals lineup right here. Uh, Miho Nanaka, dominant. Uh, Petra Klingler absolutely crushes boulders. Kyra Condi, who's, I mean, current overall U.S. combined champion. It's, these are some women who know how to pull down on boulders. Absolutely, and uh, you know it's interesting on the ladies' side, um, all three uh, of the, the top uh, ladies, uh, Miho, Kyra, uh, Kyra, and Petra, they did all four tops yesterday. Exactly. So, uh, I mean, we've got the creme de la creme here in Montreal, Pete. Absolutely. And here we see that the men are coming out. Sean McCall in a, in a matching tracksuit from Adidas, um, fresh haircut. I don't know if you follow Sean on Instagram. He gave himself that haircut, which to me is almost more impressive. Did he? He did. Like, I, I don't know how you shave the back of your head with that kind of precision, but yeah, he gave himself that haircut uh, this morning, sitting out by the pool wow. at the mansion. So, Well, I, I think for Sean, it's not that important, you know, what the back of it, his head looks like, right? Well, that's I what mean, we see. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what we see when so we look at the mirror. down right. All we see is that. So, uh, you got Sean McCall. Beside him, you got Keito Watanabe, young 22-year-old from Japan. Uh, beside him, Jason Holowatch from Saskatoon, the elder statesman of the men's finals. Um, coming out of Saskatoon. 34 Always years a old. joy to watch. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's no secret that Jay Holowatch is one of my favorite climbers. Coming out now with his belt. With his belt. Oh, yes. The man to beat tonight. Exactly. Mikhail Mawem here from France. Yeah, that is a big shiny gold belt that he's here to defend. And they are here to take it away. Yeah, I think Kyra is regretting not having hers out. Yeah. It came out earlier. She's got it's at her feet. Oh, she it's was, at her feet. She came out earlier. There we go. Your second place qualifier on the men's side is Gregor Verzonic from Slovenia. Uh, showed yesterday that he's got the chops to take a swing at that title. Yeah, Gregor, for those of you that have tuned in for the numerous World Cups over the last year or two have seen that this guy is, you know, packs a punch, really strong climber, uh, has won uh, in Munich in 2018 and uh, was really, really solid yesterday, Pete. Really solid yesterday. Um, and then your top qualifier from Japan, Yoshiyuki Ogata, who uh, floated up boulders yesterday, crushed them. Uh, he looked like he was working, but he never looked stressed. I mean, this guy's coming off an Adidas Rockstars win just a week ago. Uh, he won in Vail this year. This a really, really strong young climber from Japan. And I mean, I don't know who, how you pick a winner in either of these fields on the women's side, on the men's side. What I can tell you is that you're in for a show. So place your bets if you're feeling bold, but absolutely sit back and enjoy the show. Had climbed pretty consistently, um, but he may, he managed to do boulder number two, which was really, really hard, um, which only two others uh, managed to climb. And uh, from there on, he made his place into finals. You know, a, a veteran call is what I would say. Exactly. Sean and displayed. He did mention that yesterday, that he made that conscious decision to save some, he was having problems. It was getting him into a bad headspace. So he chose to walk away to save him that sort of recurring getting down into the spiral and decided I'm going to put that one away and look forward. So you get a, a good look at Megan trying to dial in a move like this. If you go too far, you overshoot it. You don't run hard enough. You undersell it. So Sean getting established on the start and then making this sort of jump and catch. So both of these are uh, you know, left moving foot stab, catch a hold. They're very similar. The way they climb, fundamentally different the way they're put together, but they do climb in a similar style at the very that beginning here. That first move, yeah, That absolutely. first move. You know, if you're going to be, if you're gonna be welcome to the Block Shop Open Finals, there's a pretty good way. Yeah, and uh, we're seeing Megan here uh, trying to get that left foot to stab out to the volume that's the most to the left. Yeah. 
And meanwhile, Sean, you know, progressing in all of his attempts as well. Yeah, and that's sort of a learn movement. So you got four minutes to take something that you need to uh, figure out how hard to push, how hard to squeeze, where your feet need to be. So it, uh, it takes a few tries to roll it in. And once you get it dialed in, you get it dialed in. And I said that getting established on the start is uh, pretty easy, but then uh, it's uncomfortable to leave the start. And that's often the case. I mean, I've, I've definitely been on boulders where I don't want to leave the start. Yeah, and that's exactly what Manu Weigel of the root setting team was telling us. There we go. Is that, and here we see Sean getting through that initial section. Getting a big swing. Yeah, with the double. Good work from Sean McCall. Amazing. S solving that jump right away. And now here, a, a hard transition. And that is going to be a top for Sean McCall. And that's the added bonus of having Sean come out first is that the crowd is already pumped. Yep. And behind uh, the, the sole Canadian climber on the men's side. Uh, sorry. Oh, and Megan. There's J Jason, Jason Hall Jason. as well. Sorry. But Megan right after Sean sticking the opening move. Now you see her just not quite getting to that no shadow that you can see better from this angle. A minute to go. She's got to get pressed over there. She's got time, it's four minute plus. She knows what to do to get to the zone. So um, I think uh, Megan will be confident in doing that. Uh, Mark, uh, a good question on the live stream. Uh, men's one is a shallow overhang and then uh, right after the zone, that break in the wall tips back towards the start by probably about 15 degrees. So the, f the middle triangle is a gentle overhang and then the left side is uh, you know, quite a bit steeper. Well, Megan now, 15 seconds on the clock. Really wants to stick this opening move again, but that's a hard one to repeat. She's got 10 seconds to go. She, the minute she pulls on, she has all the time that she needs. As long as she can get on the start hold. Three, two, one. Here we go. Megan Lynch, all or nothing. Just missing. Strong effort for Megan Lynch, she's got herself a zone. Not to be discounted in a comp like this. Every zone is one step closer to where you need to be. Strong effort on a hard boulder. And uh, I just have to, you know, comment again on the, the beta Sean used, the double dyno to the left, blue pill, sort of diagonal jug. I mean, it's, it's a jug, it's just not positioned in a way that you know, I wouldn't necessarily be able to catch it that way, so it was really impressive to see him bear down that way. And you don't have a lot to generate momentum from. So zone hold is a, a pretty bad crimp, and you're coming out of an underclick. So it's not like you're, you have a lot to squeeze and pull on to be established with. You're generating momentum with your lower body. You saw him with a big left leg swing. So that's, uh, that was pretty key. You might see some of the taller climbers. I guess that's probably only Mika. Uh, managed to stick that in a big iron cross, but uh, Sean showing us what the double looks like. A really composed finish to that boulder as well. Ah, Madison Fisher, young Canadian, 18 years old, from Ontario, on the big stage. And Keito Watanabe, 22 years old, here from Japan. He's been in town for a little while, I think, uh, you know, a, a couple months maybe, a month or so. He was here for the Jackalope back at, uh, in August, so yeah. he's been here for a little while. He's been crushing. And made that very easily. My goodness. He's going to pogo or moon kick out. Wow. It's a really good flash attempt from Kato. He's getting that a bendy heel. heel. No mistake, Kato Watanabe. He's got to be psyched with that, Pete. A strong flash of bolt number one for Kato Watanabe. Oh, and Madison Fisher sticking the opening move, second try. Attempts are going to matter as well. That's going to help her right off the bat. 
Also making that transition pretty smoothly. Interesting, she seems to not want to use that jib, the screw on that's on the backside of that dimension volume. Although it does look like she's looking for it. Now she is, yeah. Yeah. But I guess so now you got to get into a press situation, and the feet, as perfect timing, the feet aren't good. They are not. You need really, you know, to, to smear with confidence on those volumes, and that's what the root setters were telling us. It's, as footholds go, it's a big volume. It's just the wrong face in the wrong direction on a bit of a bit of a gentle overhang. So Madison having a, a good look. She knows she can get to the zone. It's just going to solve what to do at the top. So take a minute. Yeah. You know you've got that. We're running four plus. So when the clock gets down to zero, as long as you're on the wall, you finish that last attempt. Uh, the World Cup has moved away from four plus. But uh, comps like this where you are doing what you want to do for the show, four plus is an excellent format and allows you that one more attempt. Absolutely, uh, Pete, I agree. I think it's the best format for bouldering showmanship. You know, I'm, and, and it's fun to see it. There, and you know, we were talking about different comp formats earlier today. And um, I feel that that's something that's fun on unsanctioned comps is how to mix it up. I mean, you got comps now like, uh, we were talking about this, hotter than chicken. Yeah. Like uh, bringing in spicy chicken. Um, you got to eat a dozen spicy rounds. wings and, and then go rock climb for a couple hours. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, you get uh, people that are running campus competitions. You got yeah. the, the TD, TBF Masters comps that are going on. Each one of those is a different format. So there was one going on yesterday, and it was... Uh, uh, basically a flash style scramble finals. So the first climber to do a boulder got more points. So there was an advantage to being the first to try and do a boulder, which, I mean, why not? And was everybody out at the same time? or They were what? all out together. That's crazy. In a scramble style and uh, just getting on boulders. Allison Vester's climbing in that comp. And then uh, heavy hitters in the final, Alex Fritz, um, Dan yeah. Woods, like it was a, it's a, a really a heavy hitting field climbing in a completely different style. And I was talking to Alex Fritz earlier today, and he was saying that he's really interested in the, there we go, Madison sticking that move again. A couple of misses. This is going to be it. 15 seconds on the clock. Can she solve the top fill? There's a press. That looks really good. Yeah. She's working, but that looks good. Ma oh. oh, Maddie Fisher, great effort. Yeah, that's uh, tough luck for Maddie. Jason Hollowatch, Michaela Tracy, getting ready. Michaela, we saw a high energy climber yesterday, super psyched, sending boulders, tons and tons and tons of energy. We'll see what she brings here, and Jason Hollowatch, uh, we sometimes suggest that he's got hollow bones. He's, he moves like a bird, Jay so Hollow smooth. Watch. Yeah, smooth, light, and uh, so very contrasting styles between the two climbers on the wall right now. Yeah, and he seems to have read that um, sequence out to the left, right. It is a sort of imposed barn door. We were talking about this on boulder number two. It's going to be a recurring theme throughout yep. this comp. But... Um, he almost stuck that in, in having his, le his right foot swinging out behind him. Um, I think he knows what he needs to do. Yeah, absolutely. You kind of get a feel for what the, the swing is like. So you know how hard you have to squeeze. You know what you've got to do with your trailing hand. You, you work it out. You learn. Every time you fall off a boulder, you've got to learn something about yourself, about the boulder, about whether or not you want to just go home. Sometimes that's what I learn. Fall off a boulder and think, you know what, maybe it's time to call it a night. But not here. These guys are in it. Michaela knows. Yes, she signaled that uh, she now understands. Yeah, that was a, don't worry, guys, next time. Next try, I will do it. Yeah, and uh, this sequence, you know, on the, the beginning, the start on men's number one, um, Manu Weigel of the root setting team was telling us how 
hard it is to get out of that starting position is mm -hmm. you're sort of on that really sloping hold matched and you're happy right there just to move out of that situation is is providing a, a quite a bit of difficulty and we're seeing that right now but what you did see was kato essentially just leaned over so he had his right hand on the a little more grip on that start hold just let him get his momentum farther over and, and almost no swing coming across that way so sean controlled the swing jay's trying to control the swing and kato just took the swing out of the equation oh michaela getting her feet around but still a lot of right side swing i mean there, there is a there is a jib on the zone but it is bad it's not holding you in it's just giving you something to get a half a pad of pressure on while you come around that corner. Right, Michaela is such a powerful climber. She's also, you know, uh, a mainstay on the, on the World Cup circuit for bouldering. She's uh, competed for uh, Great Britain. And, um, you know, I think she's accustomed to this kind of move. Um, she seems to think she can do it. It yep. seems like her left foot's not going out left enough. Yeah. But I'm, that, I'm just speculating here. Yeah, it looks like she's really banking on that left foot stab, sticking the top of the volume, and it's, it's just sliding off. But she is solving this movement a, a piece at a time, and I think, oh, Jay, I, I want him to get his right hand through a little bit sooner. It's, they're both banking on just the left hand keeping them involved, but... Just a little bit more core required. Still 40 seconds to go, so. If they can just get to the zone, I think both of these strong climbers will be able to go higher up on this boulder. Right, you gotta get your hips in. Yeah, it's like Shakira said, hips don't lie. I'll give you that one. All right, Jay Hollowatch, 10 seconds. Oh, Michaela, that was almost the one. The last shot, both of these guys. Shot. Jay, oh, Jay Hollowatch, just not quite having enough. And no tops this time. And they are both very, very capable. Uh, Mika Mawem is a beast. Kyra Condry just climbs with such sort of upper body confidence you know when you, you see her get her hands on hold you saw it yesterday through the semi-final round if she gets her mitts on it man she does not, not like to let go no and i mean if i was gonna predict i would say that mika is gonna do this boulder i mean it's just he's lanky he's able to slow that first move down by just being a little bit longer through fingertip to fingertip like a big cat yeah, and Mika being a taller climber, I don't know if he'll like putting his heel up. Doesn't matter well, if he likes it. He's got to he do it. it. done. Really good stuff. Oh, yes. Psyched on a flash. He wants to keep his belt. Absolutely. Yeah, there's some motivation. Three years in a row, it's, it's tough to defend any comp that you go to as we say it's pretty rare that people win more than a couple of bowling world cups a season uh, they might podium a whole bunch of times but the field is so deep that it's hard to keep winning so to be able to come back and and defend a title year after year after year i mean it, it's uh you got to dig deep a little bit for sure and this is going to be the deepest field that both of these climbers have faced at this comp for sure yeah if they retain they get full props for that people absolutely well, Kyra just, you see her trailing right hand there, trying a little bit of compression, maybe on the right side of the volume, where that zone is. Just got to get that swing under control. That. Pointing at the spot. Lots of time, lots of time, Kyra. Oh, that, you see that right hand drag slowing her down enough. And I think that, that nod.
maybe tells you that she's got it sorted out now. And if not next try, then within a couple of tries, we're going to see her stick this zone. Yeah, and that's the thing when, you know, you, uh, you do a couple of efforts and then the, the mind game starts, starts kicking in is that left foot, will it stick? Will you know? it stick? Why, you know, why am I not getting this movement right? But she did say yesterday we had a chat after semifinals as well and um, of a very same mentality from Sean, which was uh, always see the positive, move on from every boulder and, and think about the next one. You know, try and look at the uh, the things that went well and try and keep that positive attitude. You know, put that smile on and move on. So you uh, you got to deal with it in, in these four minutes. you got to deal with the I'm not doing the boulder, but then you have to put it away. Uh, even sometimes from attempt to attempt, you got to forget that you missed this move, you know, 10 or 11 times in a row, and you start thinking, what do I need to do? And Absolutely. sometimes you just have to dial that in and put that noise out, turn around and get it get that move done so Kyra looked super focused oh getting so close there really good look at that crimp 30 seconds so a couple more tries and you see that left hand just coming off at the very 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 last second and it's one of those boulders where the first move might be deceptively you know, look easy, look deceptively easy, and so you're ramping up the number of, of attempts. Yep. Oh, five seconds, Kyra Kondi. One more. One more. Ali, Kyra. Oh. I thought just for a second that we were going to see a, a time expired send. No such luck this time for Kyra Kondi. I mean, it's, it's not even depth of experience. It's just different creativity. So different root setters have different things that they like to do. They have different levels of creativity. They have different things that they are you know, good at and want to bring to a competition. So that variety is uh, as important as experience. Yeah, and it's all about culture and, uh, as you mentioned, different ideas. And right now we're seeing two strong European climbers, Gregor sticking and getting to the zone. So, so far... The most success being the near static movement on the first move. So Sean got it swinging, um, and Kato got it swinging, but uh, Jason unsuccessful, and then uh, Mika and Gregor here just doing the slow and easy. Pretty impressive show of strength on that right-hand side. It certainly is. Usually when you're doing slow and easy, it's not easy. No, it's because you got power. Yeah. Oh, so Gregor jumping on pretty quick right away and uh, just missing the first move that time. So you, uh, it's not a done deal just because you've done it once. Nice, Petra Klingler sticking the zone. Looking for that little no shadow. Not liking it so much. Yeah, you wonder if it's uh, that useful. I mean, oh. Maybe just enough. Yeah, grabbing it as an under scoop. Kind of a really, you got to be in so much compression here. I mean, you see the effort exerted. This is not an easy finish. Yeah, Petra digging deep here. Gentle overhang and then nothing to grab. And the house it. is packed and roaring for Petra Klingler. That is a really, really great top, and uh, catapults her back up to the top right away. And uh, like a true sportsman, she's brushing off the holds and then brushing, well, she's brushing Gregor's. for Gregor. That's fantastic. That's great sportsmanship. I love that. From Petra. Amazing. Yeah, she's got tons of energy, almost always has a smile. She was in Calgary, actually, uh, last year. She came through, she was doing some clinics, uh, climbed at a local comp in Calgary, and people were just like, this is amazing. Petra Klinger's in our gym, climbing on our boulders at the same time. It was, uh, it was a really, she was yeah. tons of energy, really positive, really fun to have around in your gym. So, yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me to see that here. Just a great attitude from your 2016 world champion. Yep. 
not to be understated. No. 2016 Boulder World Champion. Gregor sticks the dino. And he's gonna go, wow. Wow. He's just gonna. How did he manage that span, Pete? That was totally yeah. unexpected. Just, absolutely, I, I don't. I didn't even see that coming. Wow, that was. Uh, I think you're right. I think we might see a flash, uh, Miho. I mean, if you can get the first move dialed in first time, I don't see an issue with her not finishing the boulder if she sticks the zone. I think that's going to be coming down to, do you get the momentum and the footwork, the complexity on your first guess, or does it take you a couple of swings? Well, we're about to find out, Pete. We are. Yeah. So Yoshiyuki di displaying the so much ease in popping out to the left. Oh, and then underselling the dino just a little bit. Yeah, I thought he looked like he hesitated there. Yeah. Like uh, sort of, you know, wasn't really sure of what he wanted to do. And, and I don't think that's uh, something we're accustomed to seeing Yoshiyuki do. No, it's like he, uh, he thought about where to bring the momentum from. And you saw him, he, he had his left foot on. And everybody else has put a little bit of swing in with their left foot, with their right foot on that. So, um, you know, we adjust and we'll see what he does here. But ain't no thing, Yoshi. But watch this first move. Yeah, displaying really good pinch strength with his right hand. And there we go, just gentle enough. Miho sticking the first move. So Yoshi getting up high. No mistakes. Second go. And uh, Miho, I guess this is probably, I think, third try. She missed the first move twice. But just going and feeling that volume out. How good is it? Where do I need to put my feet? Learning on the fly. Yeah. Uh, and it's interesting. Petra opted to use the screw on, on the left-handed uh, volume there at precisely similar. the same moment that uh, Miho is displaying right now. Getting that right drop knee dialed in. And that puts Mio on top because that was her second attempt. Third attempt. Third? Third attempt. But that's uh, less than Petra, yeah. for sure. Yes, absolutely. Great top from Miho. Really nice boulder. That's a good introduction to the block shop finals. And we are going to go all the way to the left side of the wall. Um, I'm excited to see men's number two. I'm excited to see women's number two because it's going to be a, a pretty good bicep show, and the top looks just nasty. We get a, a little leaderboard here. So, so Miho, uh, the numbers here just reversed. This is uh, this is the order they came out in. So don't read this as the. Uh, the one to six stats, but this is the climbers in order and what they've done. So Sean with the top, Kato with a flash, Mawa, Mike, Mika with a flash, and then uh, Yoshi and Gregor with tops in a couple of tries. So Kato and Mikael are on top by virtue uh, of their flashes right now. So I love this, we get a leaderboard. After every boulder, we're gonna show you what's been done. The long walk from ISO. All right. Four minutes on the clock. Here we go. Something I learned about Megan Lynch today, um, first off, I didn't know it was a thing. There is a collegiate world climbing championships. So, uh, and Megan won it. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, so in Slovakia, 
this year, in, in 2018, sorry, she won the Collegiate World Climbing Championship. So interesting, she's going to match the volcano. She's going to sort of eschew. And she'll have to match Rose again. Move. She's going to have to match again. And the feet get worse out to the right. So we'll see if she can recover this. This is going to be significantly harder. Yeah, Ooh and I think root setters had uh, not necessarily planned for this to happen, but uh, Megan has, is making her beta work on this exactly. boulder. So, the, I mean, root setters often are, they're unconcerned if you do something different as long as it's just as hard. And that right. looked just as hard. Yeah, and, and perhaps even more tiring, Pete. Yeah, that's a lot of time spent on two holds instead of just a big swing through. Use that momentum to bring you over to that far right-hand side. So. Sean missed the first move once. This one's going to take some time as well. This is not a move that you're going to dial in first try. The complexity here is real. And uh, Sean uh, pulling on. So this is a move you will have seen before in World Cups. So up over your head and then a palm down to try and control the swing. But you're going to see legs coming around the corner on this boulder for sure. Yeah, another barn door. Imposed barn door, mm -hmm. as we were mentioning a bit earlier. And Sean was looking at his left hand after he uh, palmed down on that lower triangular uh, volume. And um, maybe he doesn't like the, the amount of skin he's got left. Yeah, maybe it's a, you, know, you never know, is it, do I not have enough chalk or do I not have enough skin? Or is it just, why did you let me down left hand? <laughs> I relied on <laughs> One you of and, those. and you weren't there when I needed you the most. Yes, there you go. It came back uh, in the clutch. That is exactly as expected. That's a really, really cool move. And then this is just uncomfortable. Oh, that was an iron cross for Sean McCall. Um, and uh, just strong show of finger strength for his right hand. Yeah, and then we see Megan now choosing to go up strong right hand. Really good look at this, how much, how far that is. You yeah. see it tries to readjust, turn that into a palm to keep moving over and just unable to hang on. And that's a bad crimp too. I mean, I don't think that there are any good crimps. If we say crimp, it's a bad crimp. So just know that there are no good, really you good have holes. To, you know, travel to it dynamically, perhaps one arm. <laughs> exactly, we'll give you a good hold, but wow, you're gonna have to work to get there. So Megan Lynch, after having stuck the first move on her flash attempt, is having diminishing returns on getting into that first big pocket. And Sean will have got the zone here, um, but he's going to run, obviously, try and get to the top. 30 seconds, a couple tries left. A couple tries left for Megan as well. There you go. And uh, Sean is used to putting on a show here in Montreal, won the 2015 uh, Canadian National Championships here in Pretty uh, dramatic fashion. There and he switches that palm sooner. Really good stuff from Sean McCall. Yes. Now we're going to get a look at Sean's decision for the top. Oh, everything is pushing you to the left. Sean McCall. Yes. With the top as time expires. Wonderful stuff, Sean McCall. Uh, showed some true resilience there after missing a, a few attempts at the beginning, a few attempts at the middle, and then changed his beta just a little bit. Look at the top of this boulder. The whole boulder is leaning you to the left. You're getting no help from the holds. This is all about control. A little shady toe hook. And Beautifully a little nod. executed by Sean McCall, who's, I gotta say, he's got a flair for the dramatic, for the you know, for putting on a show, and he did it again with uh, no time left to spare on the clock. Some good movement on there, and uh, Montreal is becoming a really nice climbing city. Uh, a lot of, you know, established climbing gyms here. Uh, obviously, uh, Block Shop, but Alley Up as well, hosting the Jackalope earlier this summer. And you've got companies like uh, Dimension Volumes. You've got uh, UB, the Digit uh, hang, uh, Hangboard Tools. Uh, and uh, also Entre uh, really so interesting, really uh, interesting training tools exactly. uh, that are developed here in Montreal. Let's see, Kato Watanabe 
interesting decision. They would have talked about that, of course. You know, they would have discussed whether or not uh, they could hold a double to that little tiny crimp. As we get, oh, Matty Fisher just swinging out of that first pocket. Having a look at her fingertips. Yeah, it's a burly move. You know, we saw Megan uh, sticking at first go, but then might not have had enough in the tank to repeat that single move, which is what you need to actually get established uh, and move further on the boulder. Yeah, I always think it's very interesting when root setters can make you fall off really good holds. Really interesting. So Kato breaking the sequence. Yeah. I don't know that that's uh, any easier necessarily, but he's making it work. Dropping that knee, getting a, a really interesting angle here, and he's dropping down onto wow. that jib, which is going to be his next foothold. Uh, and trying to recover from where he was, trying to sort of shift his feet around, I suspect, by grabbing that jib. And you just saw him just endlessly drift to the left and eventually have nothing. There's nothing on the underside of what they're brushing right now. That's It's just a volume. So there's nothing to catch your swing with other than what your core and your feet are capable of doing. Yeah, and uh, again, it just shows how Ooh. those two, you know, volumes, triangular volumes that are just beneath the zone hold are uncomfortable to smear on because they're just on that angle where it's going to have you doubting. Yeah, and I would imagine that's the kind of foothold that you put on and rotate, you know, a dozen times. You put it on, you try the move, you put it on, you try the move, it's too good, it's too good, it's too good, and you finally get it to that point where it's just perfectly hard enough. And that's a... I think that's the key to this, to the middle of this boulder, is how well placed those two triangle feet are. If, if they're any better, the move is easy. If they're any worse, it, it's significantly harder. So, really nice piece of root setting, paying attention to the details. And Matty it's Fish. also interesting to see Kaito like really trying to mix it up and, as you mentioned earlier, break the sequence. Um, you know, on that zone. Oh, hold. look at that, Megan. Madison Fisher holding the big swing. Also electing to do a lightning match to get across there and is going to try and leave room. So she is really kind of fighting to get over there. Kato leaving his right hand behind this time. Really nice finish. We might be see Madison Fisher looking for momentum. 45 seconds to go for uh, Madison Fisher here, who's a strong climber. Really good show of power to get through the middle, but that might have emptied the tank for her in terms of attempts on this boulder. Meanwhile, Kato solving the logic of the finish, getting up to the top of that pretty cleanly. Tops are becoming valuable, as you might expect. Now, Maddie is, uh, she's definitely looking like she's gonna try this one more time. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put it all out there, Pete. This is the block shop open. She's waving to the crowd, getting them riled up. Yep. That's what we like to see. So here it is, Maddie Fisher, Ontario's thug, just unable to make it happen on that last attempt. So. A bit of a hands up, what do, you, what do I need to do to get up a boulder in this joint? <laughs> yeah. All right, Jason Holowatch, Michaela Tracy. Jason will be uh, thinking that he needs a top after being the only person not to top the first boulder. So, shake it off, Jay. And it's uh, similar for Michaela who'll want to, you know, get this done because she wants to catch up to uh, Petra, Miho, and, uh, and and get uh, higher up in the standings on this uh, block shop open. Yeah. Four boulders is not a lot of boulders. Jay getting it right, but not quite enough control on the swing.
It's hard to put that forced rest in. Sometimes you want to try Boulder over and over and over again, and you have to, you have to talk down your inner voice that says, hey, you need to get moving. You need to get up this Boulder, and you need to, to tell yourself that you actually need the rest more than you need the attempts to get up it or the time to put in lots of attempts. So it's hard to get that balance right. It's one of the things, one of the many elements that come into winning a comp like this is how is your time management? How many attempts did you put in? Did you give yourself enough rest or did you maybe rush it a little bit and you got yourself pumped and then you can't get back from that in your four minutes? So don't discount standing on the mat and staring at the boulder. It's an, a really important piece of the puzzle is what kind of rest do you need to get up that thing? And uh, Michaela Tracy is uh, an experienced competitor, and here she is. Oh, thought she was about to reel that in, Pete. Yeah, you just saw a couple of fingers popped at the last second. But she's inching that much closer to sticking that move and probably going much higher up on that block. A minute and 40 seconds still to go here. There you go. Yeah, right on. Will she do the rose move or no? Nope. Nope. Opting to match. And she'll have to do that again, logically. And looking like she's going to definitely try and no. Nope. So you kind of throw the toe in and see if there's room. Oh, that's great stuff. There you go. She's not here to mess around. No. That is a. And then you, you get a, an idea of how slopey those last two holds are. He's somebody that could campus across those moves. And then as she pulled up to that, just unable to generate any friction whatsoever. So the top of that boulder is uh, guarded by a couple of very slopey holds. Yeah, and you need to really compress through that sequence, Pete. I've not yet any, seen anybody really manage to, to latch the hold that Michaela was reaching to. Uh, and control it so and look like they were going to you know it's one thing right. to get up high enough to get your mitts on it it's quite another to be able to get up there with enough control that you're going to be able to stick it and then move again oh, and jay with uh, about 20 seconds to go 10 seconds to go now uh trying the the sequence that we saw kato go with which was that little double he looked like he had it close that time so with one try left jay Hollowatch goes back to the original that was as close as he's going to get. Jason Hollowatch yeah, feeling how hard these boulders are. Yeah, a good look at this lightning match. And then reeling in this campus. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much a, a good demonstration of her lock-off strength. Yeah, and it, it may be that you need to have that kind of lock-off strength to get up to the next move. You don't want to be swinging. You don't want to be too much momentum, you're going to need to be into control to hold those next two slopers. So, for the blocks are assez dur. Absolutely, c'est le final d'une compétition comme ça. Il faut que les blocs sont durs, mais ils sont durs en des des différentes façons. Oui, ils sont durs, mais en même temps, Pete, il faut qu'ils soient durs parce que on va avoir des athlètes habitués de la Coupe du Monde, Yoshi Yuki et Miho, Petra, Kyra, Mika, qui vont s'exécuter là-dessus. Fait là, on va avoir une bonne idée en fait du niveau de difficulté du bloc avec les prochains compétiteurs. Absolument. So, um, you know, the, everybody's strong in this field, but the, the Kyra, Petra, and Miho are uh, coming into their, there you see a, a great look. So Kyra's psyched to get her mitts on some holds. Wow. This is, uh, this is really impressive from Kyra Condi. Whoa, that is a really strong flash. It's like almost deja vu from last year, Pete. Like, yep. As you said, Kyra Condi, when she puts her mitts on a hold, it stays in her hand. Yeah, and she did, you know, as intended, just went rose move, face out. Mika holding the swing. I think that's his second try on that. And 
Big span from here. And now, interesting here, easier to be a tall guy until you got to get your left foot up into your armpit. So we'll see how Mika deals with this uh, high foot. Really no problem when it's all said and done. Mikael Mauem staying in the hunt wow. with the top of number two. These two have not spent that much time climbing. They've no. got two boulders each, but have done it really, really quickly. Yeah, a couple of strong tops. So this is great here. No mistake on that right foot. And just in just enough control to come through the slopers. Kyra Condi getting that squeeze on to finish boulder number two with a flash. Yeah, perfectly executed compression strength displayed right there. Big smile. Flashes are going to matter for sure. Gregor Rosanik, Petra Klingler now looking for their moment on boulder number two. And they'll know that uh, either you know, one of the other two climbers did it quickly. So the pressure's on them now. Exactly, only a, only a couple minutes passed from when they saw them leave ISO to when they heard the crowd cheer. Petra holding the swing. Giant crossover. Yeah. Oh, figure four. Oh yes, and with here. the chalk up. This is Petra's uh, bread and butter, her being an ice climber. Exactly. Ali. Meanwhile, Gregor, after one try, sticking the opening move. Petra Klingler with a flash. So that's tit for tat. Petra saying, OK, Kyra, you can flash this. Well, so can so I. So can I. Oh, Gregor. Oh. Holding that first right-hand transition, that must have taken a lot of core effort and then just unable to readjust. He's uh, actually shown us on boulder number one, he's got quite a bit of core in that huge span he, he did uh, on that high step right foot to, to grab the last hole on boulder exactly. number one. So, so he he's got loads of that. Exactly. Yeah, he won't be nervous yet. It's a couple of tries. Figure out the first move, figure out the second move. You get a, a good look at Petra. Beautiful. Coming over here and then just no hesitation. I'm going to throw a figure four in here and chalk up. Little tiny Euro blow here, just because why not? And then a really calm finish to this boulder. That's great. And uh, yeah, so Petra is an ice climber. And so for those of you that have been, you know, seeing ice climbing competition, figure four moves like that come in really handy. Yes, they do. Gregor flipping the right hand as we saw Sean do. Yeah, but it looked really way too casual for Gregor. Yeah, a little bit longer wingspan maybe made a little bit easier, but showing you that the transition, it's hard. Yeah, and you it's know, uncomfortable. Gregor here, um, you know, the root setter Manu was telling us as we were previewing the boulders that this last section, it actually can feel better if you're shorter. Um, once we saw Sean in that section, it's a bit shorter than Gregor. He had an easier time getting on top of the zone hold Whereas Gregor here, um, trying to match, looked a bit bunched up, so. But then on the flip side, you saw Mikael Mauem come through there and just manhandle it. That's right. So, I mean, you can, well, we try to, right? You can try and predict what shape a climber is going to do better in any given body position, but these, these uh, they'll surprise you more often than they don't. And sometimes they surprise you on the wrong side. So you think someone's going to do something pretty calmly and, and they end up being unable to do it. And then you think, well, this should be easy for this person. And suddenly they're on the mat. So minutes to go. Yeah, and you know what? With these climbers, they're accustomed to climbing everything that, that's thrown their way, right? And adapting, dealing with the adversity and coming through. So left foot high, wow. if you find the balance point, and I think he has. Gritty effort from Gregor Vizonic, who's top boulder number two. 
Yeah, as you say, a gritty effort. A few tries. Took that one down to right. And uh, the beat here is uh, is uh, prepared by DJ Funky Falls, and he's on the turntables right now, and uh, the crowd's loving it. So you can see Miho, really no extra preview here, just stepping up into the boulder, holding the swing as casually as we saw Kyra and Petra do, and also electing to do the match. Well, she's not fussed. Yoshi holding the barn door. Wow. Also very smoothly. There we go. Miho Nanaka, no mistakes, with a flash of women's number two. And you so see, the ladies here not uh, letting up. You see, Yoshi, he left his left hand was using the crimp for leverage and then was unable to get it out of the way as he was trying to match his foot in there. So a bit of a, a bit of a hand sequence undersight, I would say. He realized that he did need to get his foot up there and, and was not in a position to make that easy transition. So I don't imagine he's gonna make that mistake twice. He's not known to fall much these, uh, these last couple of comps, so. Yeah, and he won't be phased by that, I don't think, either. Looking at the clock, 2 minutes, 23 seconds to go. Yeah, and uh, opting for a drop knee like Kaito Watanabe employed. And then oh, very nice. And again, a little stem out behind to get established on a finish hold. Yoshiyuki Ogata, second try. No. It is a boulder to make them a little bit tired to make them flex their biceps, to make them get footless. So and here I would argue for the men's side, uh, you know, we're gonna see two of the harder boulders to finish off this comp. Um, and for the ladies as well, this is not yet over, folks, so stay tuned. And uh, as we can see, uh, this is an updated scoreboard, so Mikael and uh, Yoshiyuki are really neck and neck yeah, it's at the, the top uh, here. The flashes are mattering at this point. I don't imagine we're gonna see a lot of flashes on uh, either of these boulders. The slab looks uh, just delicious. The slab looks like it needs to be done with risk. It needs to be done gently. It needs to have a little bit of power. The finish move looks wonderful. And then the men's boulder just is gonna be early. So it's, it, it starts off like really Tenuous, just trying to establish yourself with all four points on those two sort of volumes down low. That in and of itself is hard. Yep. And then you got to explode up right, Pete, and, and latch. Exactly. And you'll see that the crimps in the middle of this boulder are quite small. The crimp on the zone, you can't really see from, from the angles that we have. It's guarded by a crimp on top. So, uh, you know, it, it won't be a, a great foothold because they have to be a little bit accurate. You have to be a little bit accurate going to get it. And then here for the... The women, it's about you need to be a little bit dynamic, but at the same time, you're climbing a slab. I think uh, Manu said it's, uh, uh, well, that's good stuff from Megan Lynch. Uh, slab dancing, I believe he said it was, instead yep. of slab climbing. Oh, and Sean getting that jump done. Coming around, also on a bit of a rose move. Oh, oh Megan wow. Lynch learning how hard the top of that boulder is. Sean McCall. Oh, big span out left for Sean, who had a good heel hook on for, uh, you know, to get himself out there, but um, he will have to try that again. And so will uh, Megan. She came up really close. 
um, on that final move, which is a bit of a coordination effort that you need to, to do, I believe. Yeah, you would have seen her right foot looking to, to stab onto the triangle volume that the zone uh, crimp is under. So that's uh, most likely necessary that that right foot is going to have to be in contact to be able to finish this boulder. Oh, moving very well to that point. Yeah. So getting there is one thing. Matching is quite another. Sean taking quite a bit of time, I think. Uh, needs to give his fingers a bit of recovery. And I think he knows what to do and also not just his fingers, I think the, the bicep, the huge lock off that you need to do with your right arm to get up to that big squat or a pinch. Um, he's showing, you know, veteran uh, savvy in, in taking the time to make sure that, you know, his energy is replenished. Yep, and just being, just calm. Oh. Not getting shaken up by not having done a boulder is a pretty important piece of the puzzle when you're climbing at this level. And Megan Lynch back up here. Can she adjust? Oh, that time you saw really look to the stab. Just came up short. Sean McCall, the one-hand catch. Dialing the rose move down. Onto that cap crimp, I think you can see it really well here. Yeah, this is a stressful move for the on the fingers. Oh, and in case you're wondering, somebody of the strength and the ability of Sean being unable to make that move, they don't look very far away, those holds, but it's not how far they are, it's the position that's basically footless underneath. No, so it's, uh, that is a powerful, powerful move. Megan Lynch, 40 seconds to go. Watch this right foot here. Uh, so electing not to try and stick it that time. But yeah, 30 seconds, choice. one more try for sure. Sean is going to let it, I would imagine, run down to almost zeros before he gets on. I think he can sit on the start hold for a second. Ten seconds to go. Last ditch effort for Megan and Sean. So thumbs in, but not quite enough. Sean is not going to. She's try not going to try again. He's happy with his zone and doesn't think it's worth the abuse on his fingertips. And Megan Lynch. What have you got? Crowd is into it. <laughs> Bit of a yeah. nervous smile. Looking for some help. You watch that left foot. She's just not happy stepping on that little dimension triangle. It's not giving you all you want. No. Yeah, the lights were flashing, but that, I believe, is not a top no. for Megan. Oh, my God. Hands up. And Sean came up to give her props, but... Oh, uh, so close, so close. So your finish points are worth the same in the lead round as they are in the speed round as they are on the bouldering round. So you, what you did see was a couple of the speed climbers, I mean, they, did, they got throttled in uh, lead and bouldering events, but their points carried them through. So they're head and shoulders are better at speed, and if they get better at bouldering and lead, then the, it evils out a little bit. And if the boulders get better at lead climbing, etc., etc. So it is interesting to see how people are going to train and what they're going to be able to do when we get into an Olympic event. So for right now though, we're, uh, we got Kato Watanabe and Maddie Fisher. So and Kato, Kato going. Not wasting any time, getting the rose move. And just, but, wow. Really, really powering through that. And this is impressive. Getting that rock over lock off. Good, a good look at the angle, and you see the ability to pinch this, the lip of that hold. Oh, my God. Kato Watanabe with a flash of number three. 
The guy is on fire. Super strong. Super strong. Really, really good flash from the young 22-year-old. We look at here we got Madison Fisher, the youngest climber on the women's side of the competition at 18 years old. Who is no stranger to success. I mean, she's a two-time youth national champion. Uh, second at Open Boulder Nationals this year. So she is coming into her own. This is a great replay of this final move, Pete, where just that swing looked really intense, and he just reeled it in. Yeah. He was not going to let go, and Kato's you know, really looking poised to take that belt off of Mika, but there's still a lot of climbing. There's a lot of climbing to go, and interesting to see, we watched the root setters forerunning that, and uh, they were pressed up underneath that big sloping scoop, not pinching the lip of it the way you saw Kato doing. That is, uh, it's, not a, it's not a great pinch, I'll give you that. Madison uh, having a little bit of trouble with the rock over and the foot stab required. And uh, I think everybody's looking at their skin at this point in the weekend, sort of hoping that it's uh, not worn through just yet. Nice. Yeah, all uh, she needed was a, a little brushing of that hold, as she asked. And yeah, that would seem to have been the difference maker, wouldn't it? <laughs> Madison Fisher trying to leave the right hand behind. Not a bad idea, and it looks like she's really looking to see if how much skin she has left. Yeah, two more boulders left, and so... This is where you need to dig deep. You know, this is a big weekend of climbing for these competitors. And Madison, who's, you know, came come in second place at uh, Canadian Boulder Nationals this year. Um, she's getting the crowd in the, into the game. But Artie's showing a lot of, uh, a lot of talent, obviously, and uh, determination here. So it's great to see. Yep, supported by the core climbing gym in Cambridge, her hometown. And then making no mistake, now that she's learned that slab movement, she's going to get it right. 15 seconds, Phil. This might be it. Oh, oh and that's she can still uh, jump back on, and she's got that, taking off that chalk uh, belt. Yeah, I guess so. So we're going to get one more try. So you saw her try and get really into that. Tried to leave her right hand behind, and then tried to immediately stab the right foot on. So she's looking at a, a lot of movement at the top of this boulder. Madison Fisher for all the marbles with no time on the clock. Getting composed. Ali, Ali Madison, let's go. Oh. Getting up high and in, but not quite enough to get it done. Insisting on the fist bump for Michaela. She's into it, and Jason, he's smiling. He, I don't think he's had the beginning of the comp that he would have liked, but um, such a good climber. He Get knows he's going to have to use that power of his on this one. Yeah, and, it, and it's not, you know, you have to be able to turn around from knowing that at this point the podium is likely out of reach, but if you dig deep and send some boulders, that's what you're now here to do. So... It's not about getting on the podium. It's about putting out the best performance you can possibly get out on these last couple of boulders. So Jason Holowatch will be fighting hard to get to the top of both of these last two boulders. And uh, the same will go for Michaela Tracy here. See her a couple of different hand sequences that we've seen across the start of this boulder. And lovely slab is sometimes the great equalizer. So Megan Lynch did the beginning very easily. Madison Fisher took a few tries to learn it, and then Michaela doing something completely different, trying to get both hands on the top hold before coming down, and now she's going to switch that up. So, yeah, really, slab makes you think, Phil. Make good use of that. She's making good use of that friction on those blue pill volumes. Um, 
And she's just like that. She's gotten to the zone. Will we see a first top on women's number three? Uh. And this is exactly so. I know we mentioned that they tried the top of this boulder over and over and over, and the only way they could do it was to get the left hand as the right foot is sticking that triangle volume. So, and so far, that's proven to be the case. There is a, you can't outstrength the end of this boulder. Excellent, Jay Hollowatch sticking the first move. And coming around on the rows. Yeah, opting for the campus sequence, but whoa. And that is a, a really, really strong climber realizing how powerful that move is. And uh, let, you know, I'll, I'll just remind everybody that, you know, Sean had a minute to go, or at least he had a last effort to go uh, with the clock winding down and he opted not to do it. That in and of itself shows how, you know, finger intensive this boulder is. And you want to keep fitness. You don't want to get an injury in this comp. Yep. So. And you know what's coming. You've previewed all the boulders. So you're well aware of what Boulder 4 has in store for you. So you're thinking about that through your round. You're thinking, okay, I know that I need something in the tank to be able to get up boulder number four. So um, making a veteran decision. Oh, oh. and I think um, Michaela's really found what she needs to do here yeah. uh, in stabbing that right foot out onto where uh, the zone hold is so in order to match it. She's got the movement solved. Now it's a question of reeling it in. A minute to go. Jay Hollowatch still staring at those crimps. And there you go. Look at that face. Michaela Tracy, very psyched. Really psyched. I don't know if you can read lips, but that is a heck yeah. <laughs> that just came out right at the end there. Really good top for Michaela Tracy. Did what she needed to do. Jason Hollowatch looking at likely the last attempt. See what he's got left in store. Might campus this. Wow. Jason Hollowatch, that's powerful. And then unable to have room for the heel. That is a shake of the head. You saw that. What do I need to actually hang on this to? This is it? all about deep in your gut. Do you want to send this? It's really about putting all that energy, that primal energy out there. And that's what these competitors are all about. I mean, they know they can send these boulders. They have the caliber. They have the skill, the ability. And whoa, talking about ability. No hesitation, Mika Mawem. Oh, and this. Somebody tell him there that he can use his feet. Or that those crimps are very, maybe he doesn't know that the crimps aren't very good. <laughs> but he did roll out of that. He sort of was still swinging around and was unable to reel it back in. Kyra Kondi, the flash attempt here. Wow. Well then. So doing what the root setters thought you could not do, and that is a really good piece of core strength from Kyra Kondi. That's a flash, and that is huge. That's her second flash of the comp, having flashed boulder two and three for Kyra, and uh, yeah. I mean, the ladies are really, really closely uh, following each other. It's going to go to attempts on boulder number one so far. Yep. If the other uh, climbers, such as Petra and Miho, manage to get this boulder done quickly uh, and just as quickly as Kyra did with a flash. Yeah, that is a really, really, really important flash in terms of chasing top of the podium. Yeah. I think. Uh, Mikael here really really knows that he's got to be just a little bit more careful this time. A little less cavalier, but you see that full crimp. Oh, man. You, you don't often see these competitors have to go thumb over full crimp. And he's, got, he's opting to put the heel in to crank that up. This is so powerful. And this is highlighting how well Keito Watanabe did the top of this boulder. Yeah, and you know, this is the kind of boulder that you really wish deep down inside that you can flash because every time you do it, your fingers get wrecked. Yeah, so look at Kyra, just that, if you think that body tension is just about the middle 
from your ribs to your hips. That's left toe to left fingertip is what keeps you on a boulder finish like that. That is true core tension along the entire length of your body, and that is something that, I mean, if you're uh, training at home and you're trying to get better and better at climbing, being able to hold the body position from your toes to your fingertips, that is not to be understated. That's something that you can absolutely work on. You're not maybe gonna see a finish of a boulder like this too often at your home gym, but when you come across something that really needs that kind of, you see Mika just unable to hold the pinch there, but he's still smiling. And when you come across a boulder problem that, that needs you to be toe to fingertip, you'll be happy that you put that kind of effort in. Yeah, and Mika knows that this is uh, perhaps uh, the last or the second to last attempt he can do on this boulder. He's got 45 seconds to go here. Um, and I think he's going to wait it out just because it's so demanding on the fingers. Um, yeah. And you, I mean, you saw the same thing from Sean. Just not even waiting to establish himself on that first crimp, and he's crossed over. And this is uh, empty the tank and dig deep time for Mika Mawem. Just, just catching that crimp, fighting to get the heel established. Mika Mawem, does he have it? He just doesn't have the extra ounce that it took to get that. Left hand onto the pinch. So Keito Watanabe has just made shots fired. Right, to be better people, to be better to each other. So I think it's important that we recognize that um, harassment is not okay. It's 100% something that we need to be aware of. And it's something that you know we need to be very cautious of in the way we treat each other um, in our sport. We're not immune from that type of behavior. And I think it's important that we, um, it may be uncomfortable to talk about, but it's something that we absolutely need to talk about. I think that's a, a really good point, Pete. And I think, you know, it's like in other sports, we're seeing that in, uh, in, in soccer, you see it, fair play. Um, let's advocate for this. I think climbing's hard enough as it is. Um, let's keep it clean and, and, uh, and, and just, you know, bring some good vibes to the gym, to, uh, to these comps and uh, outdoors. Petra Klingler on her flash attempt here. Just trying to look around and see what needs to be done. Oh, oh trying to get the thumbs up in there. And Need Gregor, long. after a few swings, yep. gets in there. Opting for the face out, Rose move. Matching on not much of anything. Cutting loose on this hold, wow. And Gregor letting everybody know that that's really, really hard. That's full effort. And just to close off the point earlier, um, Stacy Weldon, who's our, uh, our athlete rep for the, the Canadian National Climbing Federation, uh, it's the Safe Sport Movement, uh, which is a national body. Uh, we've been partnered with them now as a, as a national organization. Have a look at Ken Petra get this last move right this time. There you go. So just correcting that right hip swing that cost her the flash attempt. But a top and two tries is really good stuff. Will she brush uh, Gregor's holds? Maybe she'll again? brush his holds again this time. So know that um, you know that out there is the safe sport. There's something you can reach out to. There's uh, numbers you can call and absolutely do what needs to be done. Be good to each other. This is a great look at Gregor here, sort of alone in the darkness, the minute and a half to go. So, Does he have what it takes here, Phil? I think Gregor has what it takes. Um, it's all about energy levels and, and skin at this point in time, but he absolutely does have what it takes. Yeah. And maybe crimp strength. That right foot up. Opting to match it again. And yep. So he's, uh, he's putting the arms on display. It's 
So Gregor, not enough in the tank. So Kato Watanabe is showing himself to be the class of the round on boulder number three. So in case you thought the boulders were too easy, I agree, and it's interesting that you, it's obviously there's pressure in a comp like this, but it's not qualify for the Olympics pressure. So it allows you to maybe let loose a little bit, maybe keep that smile on your face while still climbing really hard. So that's a inter really interesting perspective from Petra. Um, Miho right up, with no time to waste. And wow. Oh, Miho with one slip, and Yoshi looking like nonplussed. He will campus this. So up until he gets that heel up. So here is a, a flash attempt from Yoshiyuki Ogata. Wow. Right now looking to be a, a level up on everyone else in the field. Except for, Except Kato. for Kato. So it's like a Japanese showdown. It's always what we had asked for here as uh, you know, commentators at the Block Shop Open. Like, have some of these Japanese bouldering armies, you know, soldiers come yeah, out. Come out here and see what they can do. Miho on her second try. Oh, doing it the way it was intended. Right foot up in conjunction with uh, moving to the last hold. So She's second psyched. try. She's very psyched. That second try puts her happily in with the other women on that boulder. Big smile, though. That's a really, uh, really composed finish to that slab boulder. The dinner block, peut-être, oh, on va juste regarder, juste pour un moment, le, le placement. Donc, on a Miho, Petra, on a juste uh, la différence de un essai entre Miho et Petra au moment. Kai right. just top, and then Yoshiyuki here, staying ahead of Kato by the virtue of one attempt. Mega Megan Lynch. So something that he has been known for over the block shop competitions is applying nicknames to people as the rounds go along. So we've got Mega Megan Lynch. I couldn't quite catch what his Sean's nickname is. Four minutes, last boulder. Sean McCall in front of his Canadian home crowd. Megan Lynch up from Rockville, USA. And the top of the, the start of this boulder is just, I, that looked insane to me. Oh. And uh, and finally it is. And finally it actually is. It is, is actually is. insane, certifiably so. Yeah. And Megan, the interesting thing about the start of this women's number four is that the everything is, again, facing the wrong way. So you need to apply pressure with your feet, but those volumes are sloping down in a way from the direction that you want to go. So you want something to be able to push you up to the right, and all the footholds are leading you the wrong way. So this insecurity and imbalance between upper body position and where your feet are has been a, a hallmark of uh, the round and even still in semifinals. So the root setters have not just tried to set, you know, burly movement. They've tried to set complex body position. You've got to solve the movement by using holds in the wrong direction. And it's been consistent and it has, uh, it's provided for some really interesting pieces of boulder problems across the rounds. And Megan Lynch here um, really still trying to get a, a good compression in and Sean opting for a different beta because uh, it seemed like that stab out with his uh, left arm to the undercling uh, there's a yellow blue pill sloper in that roof he's trying it with the right arm now and I think he's at least trying new solutions yeah he took a, a couple of tries to feel that maybe that just wasn't going to go and it's interesting you might watch at home and think well why doesn't he just keep trying it uh, you know your body and your ability is better than anybody. And if you immediately think that you are incapable of solving a movement, you have to try something different. So when you see these climbers doing something that's way outside the box, it's because they've realized what they need to do or what they're capable of doing. Sean now trying a quick double. 
And he thinks maybe that's going to be it. A small shrug, a little smile. And now a, a bit of a knee bar maybe and a toe scum. Megan Lynch trying everything. And there are, unfortunately, a lot of options down there. Oh, the crowd. The crowd is getting behind Sean McCall. Oh, yes. And he sticks the dino. And he's going to go. Big, strong move here. Oh, opting to uh, go feet first. Really getting the momentum. Sticking the volume. And now it's about that. I mind. This is a huge span here, Pete. Flexibility and movement exercise in a really long way away. Still got 45 seconds to go. Um, that was a lot of effort. He did that first move really well dynamically, found a, a solution which was Sean proof. Yep. Um, and then I think if he makes that, that move out to uh, where the zone is, he tried to stick just the side of the volume and there's really no purchase there. You do have to stick one of those crimps, I think, to be able to hold the swing coming across there. So feet first, and then really, really uh, powerful move to get your hand over to those crimps. So Sean's going to get one more try. Megan just looks like, I don't know what to do. But I'm going to try one more time. And Sean is. Zeros on the clock. Sean McCall. Can he dial it in here? Not quite. So that's the end of the round for Megan and Sean. And he's a, Sean really is a true sportsman. He gets a beer on delivery and one for Megan as well. No, she's going to say no. Sean is going to chug a beer at the end of Boulder number four. <laughs> Amazing. I like it. And I All right, well, this is one to watch because Kaito has been really imperious, flashing boulders one and three. Look at this span. Phil, that really is incredible. I mean, his right elbow was inside out as he made that push to the left hand. Let's see if he can reach on it and able to stick where Sean was not. It's just a couple of centimeters off of that zone, and there it is. And uh, in the bottom corner, you see Madison Fisher getting out of the start nest and making moves here towards the zone. Oh. So we found a move that Kato can't do. Yeah. And, and meanwhile, Maddie Fisher sticking the zone. Will she get that toe hook out to the right? She does, but not on the volume that has been screwed onto the bigger volume. There's a smaller dimension triangle underneath there that could probably give her a bit more purchase. Yeah, agreed. It's uh, if you can just reach that tiny bit farther. This is uh, there. You just see it there. Will it make a difference? You have to reach a little bit farther. She's that look of fear at your fingertips, but that's a good piece of climbing from Madison Fisher to get to the zone. I think she's taping a fingertip right now. That's, uh, it yep. makes it hard to grab. Um, tape on your fingers is something that climbers don't want to necessarily have, especially on their fingertips. It does take away from the friction. You know, if it's necessary because you're bleeding, then it's necessary because you're bleeding or you're about to. But you know that they uh, are not big fans of having to put tape on the most frictiony part. Meanwhile, Kato has taken a good rest here. As we've said before, might just know that he has what it takes and needs to recover enough to do it. Yeah, and um, actually Kaito, uh, it, you know, did the first sequence of that boulder in the intended fashion. So left hand out and then sort of getting in a, a shoulder undercling before crossing out right to the next one. It's really wild movement and it's what we've come to expect from the root setting here 
as the block shop opened. For those of you that have tuned in to previous editions, you will know that uh, they, you know, they really put on a show here, and these boulders are amazing. So Kato looking for a little extra support. And hopefully he can repeat the opening, and it looks just a little left foot slip. No big deal, still a minute on the clock. Yeah, he looks surprised, and uh, plenty of time left. Madison Fisher would have expended a lot of energy on that first attempt, so this is only going to be two attempts on this boulder for her in this four-minute time frame. Yeah, good, uh, good time management, uh, energy management from yeah. an 18-year-old climber there. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Also looking for some support from the crowd. This is it, last try for both of these climbers. And if, if Kaito does not top this boulder, he leaves the door open. Yeah. Madison at full wingspan, toe hooks everywhere. Oh, he can still pull it back on. He's he got, can. He's got eight seconds to go. And he's going to. Madison Fisher, everything she has to get back to the zone. Kaito jumped on, but has to, uh, that's gonna do it for Madison. Kaito holds the swing. Boy, each time I see him do that, like, now he's gonna go, yeah, I thought he was gonna maybe just straight campus that move the way he was swinging, but this toe hook is tenuous at best. Oh man, that's, so he is mortal. He is mortal. We found uh, the ability to stress his core and his fingers to their limit, and he also gets a beer. And he is also going to chug a beer. <laughs> Why not? And we're seeing that on boulder number four here. So um, it's great to see the science. It's great to see um, the training evolve. And hopefully that'll bring us, you know, impressive and much more impressive climbing feats in the next uh, couple of uh, years. I agree. And uh, it's no longer about doing... Uh, dips on your day off it's about getting uh really into understanding what strength and movement and mobility look like and these top climbers they have professionals around them that understand movement and have now learned climbing or maybe sort of uh, older competitors who are getting into training who understand movement you have people like udo newman who's uh really made a, a specialization in breaking down the movement as we see michaela tracy yeah michaela is a very powerful climber and um, be interesting to see. Oh, looking to split it up. Yeah, a dynamic foot switch. She does. She has this wonderful thing after each attempt where it's almost like in her mind she's checking a box. Okay, this is what needs to happen. I'm going to do that different next time. So there's these moments of definite action that she puts on herself. Jason Hollowatch staring down the span. He got up into it on his first try but was unable to hold the stress of this inside out shoulder press. And there we wow, go, he's there got you go. it done. My arm? Yeah, I hurt just looking at that, Phil. I also hurt. My so. left shoulder <laughs> is, uh, is not my strongest. And, uh, but here, uh, that's not Jason Hollowatch's problem. Can he get to this zone? He's, look at him making decisions here. He's deciding, do I want to get my toes up there? And yes, I do. Well, this is uh, Ali Jason. Oh, coming really close to latching that, the edge and thumb catch of that lower zone. down on that volume. And meanwhile, Michaela, she made an adjustment here to go uh, to get her left foot out without needing to camp us over on that last attempt. And here she's going back to the swing. With the uh, that's an expression we all know well too well. Arms up looking at the boulder sometimes the boulder doesn't want to give it to you you got to work a little bit harder to go get it so jason i mean i, you, I just saw him roll his shoulders <laughs> and he's feeling that but he's also feeling that he's he tickled the underside of the zone hold and, yeah, and uh, jason uh will need this um he hasn't topped the boulder yet so uh there michaela now getting sorted 
being a little bit more careful with the foot. Pressing through. This is a, it's a pretty bad sloper, Phil. And getting that, just getting the oh, toe hook, there. there it is. That's the difference for this move, I think. A gnarly little crimp to match with. And we're getting a first look at this top. Yeah. Crowd getting behind Michaela. And Jay Hollowatch also sticking the opening moves again. So it's a big hold up top. It's uh, it's not the biggest jug, but uh, it's, it's a good hold. The thing is, what she's got in her right hand, or at least. Yeah, the right hand is bad. Oh. And you're not a lot to generate off of. So full effort from Michaela Tracy. Full effort Putting from her Jason Hollowatch. Putting her saying, yeah, I gave it all I could. And, and maybe one more. She's yeah, they're both going to give us one more. Ten seconds. Enough time to get on. We'll see if there's enough in the tank. Michaela, don't let it run down too much. There, we're going to get treated to one more try from Jason and Michaela. And that's what's so great about this four plus format is for the show we are getting these last ditch efforts. Come yeah. on, Michaela. Come on, Jason. Well, Michaela out of gas. Jason Hollowatch. Is he going to try and do something just burly here? It's and looking that way. It yeah. does look that way. Uh -huh. Half a hand away. Really great effort from both of them. Jason Hollowatch, one of my favorite climbers. And he is going to also sip a beer. Yeah. Like, Why would you waste a good beer? I'm going to have a sip. You so gotta this, taste is, uh, it. this is Block Shop Open Beer. Um, that's right. It's great that we can watch a comp like this and say, yeah, that's amazing. Um, these moves are really cool. I'm watching from across the ocean. I'm, I'm watching from, you know, in my own country, on the other side of the country. But getting people in the gym, getting people to sign up for the citizens comp, getting people to come in and buy the merchandise and the beer, and we got to do this. We got to grow comps like this as much as we can. Mika looking really smooth on the beginning of the boulder. And these are the defend defending champs, folks. This is their last uh, chance to, to retain those title belts. And Mika. Mika getting to the zone on his first attempt. Just trying to figure out what to do with his feet here. Getting a toe hook on the left side. Oh my God. Mikael Mawem grimacing with effort. Getting those. Oh. And that right foot just generating too much opposition against those little crimps and that sloper. But that's a great flash attempt from Mikael Mawem, and he's going to be bolstered by that. I'd be surprised if he doesn't get up there again. And there's a special relationship with Mika in Montreal. He's come out here. These, this is third year in a row. And uh, I don't know what it is with Boulder number four here. Every year, it seems to bring out the best out of Mika Mawem. And uh, he's uh, such a showman and also a very generous uh, person, really uh, super easygoing. And it's really fun to see him uh, perform at this level on the, on the boulders here at Montreal. Yeah, I 100% give you that. Kyra Condi just uh, went a bit dynamically to the zone on the last attempt. I think now she's uh, maybe going to make a slightly different decisions about how much power it takes versus how much control she needs. And Mika not letting too much time run off the clock. But he does... I mean, he's a, he is the tallest climber, so that move is going to be slightly easier for him. And the crowd is chanting, Mika. I and mean, I would still be gassed after that last attempt. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree. And I'm impressed with how smoothly he reaches the zone hold and then the, the tension in this left toe hook. So he's got a minute and 30 seconds to go, and I think he's going to rest a bit or maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe not. He might not need that. I would need that. Kyra Kondi starting to feel the pressure of Petra Klingler and Miho Nanaka, who are right behind her, opting to try something brand new on that attempt. Kind of with a smile and a shrug, and maybe that was not the solution. Super resilient climber. Yeah. 
One minute to go. Both of these climbers staring down the boulders. Sort of willing yourself to find a little bit more energy. What's left at the bottom of the tank and you know, can you fish it out? Yeah, and a top would be huge here for Mika. Uh, seeing as he did not top number three and uh, both Kaito and Yoshiyuki have. Um, so if he wants to retain his BSO title belt, he's he got to work. Get to that top hold, and I think he can do it. So this is Kara just having trouble getting her left toe established on that little no shadow, which has sort of made the difference so far in providing opposition to get to the zone. And Mika sprinting up here. Time has expired. This is it. Last try, Mika Mawem throwing that toe hook out the window this time. Oh my goodness, this is Burley Phil. Oh, and, and they both climbers falling down after extra time. That is what's called everything you have. And that's what the crowd here wanted. Oh, and he's joining Dr. Step here as he's accustomed to do. Very carefully. Throwing it into the crowd. Someone gets a sweaty souvenir, Phil. That's right. And he's going to take that beer and have a well-deserved sit-down. <laughs> he's like, what, I need to chug? <laughs> he's like, no, he's, out, he's still out of breath, Phil. He's still out of breath. He's like, I need a minute. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's take like, your time to take taste your time. it. It's good. It's good beer. You need to taste good beer. It's not. Absolutely. And um, this is one of the biggest comps you have in the Northeast and in America at all at this point in time. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's a great show, and uh, we're happy to have it, having, having all these athletes here in Montreal. Just like to be a part of it and be able to bring it to you guys and try and make it a little bit more exciting at home, get reasons to tune into the live stream. With Petra Klingler, Gregor Vazonic taking their first swings at their fourth and last boulder. Petra with crafty toe hooks. Gregor just being burly. Yeah, great shots from the camera uh, crew here. Seeing both these climbers give it their all. And uh, Gregor generating momentum, pushing off the wall. So he's trying to go campest. Nice match there from Petra. Wow. That is a powerful move right there. We saw Madison get here. We saw Michaela get here and take a lot of effort to do so. And Petra's not got her right toe exactly where um, we saw Michaela set it. And we, when Michaela put it there, she immediately felt a lot more comfortable to match on the zone hold. Exactly. You know, you think that such a subtle difference really maybe is, you know, a, a bit of a not that important. You know, do you really need to have that extra little toe on the triangle? But it completely changes the angle in which you're able to pull. So you're either pulling against the flat volume or you're pulling against something with some opposition. So, yeah, as you say, as we saw Michaela find that toe hook, her whole body position just changed and was able to make the move through there. So do you think Gregor's going to stay with his campus attempt or do you think he's going to try this foot first? Looks like he's going to stay campused. Whoa. Whoa. So now he's once missed, twice touched but didn't stick it. And this is the great turning point is, do you go one more try with that campus beta? Or do you, uh, maybe he knows that he's not a toe first climber. I know that I'm not a toe first climber. I know that if I was to get my toes around there, I wouldn't be able to reach through. I don't have the flexibility in my hamstrings and my hips to be able to reach through and match my toes in a position that powerful. So. I would be trying to campus that as well, just knowing that that's not a position that I want to get into with my feet up above my head. So maybe Gregor knows himself in that way too. He's more success in doing what appears to be a harder move, but will be ultimately more successful for him. We'll and also, see. you know, Pete, it's uh, we've got the luxury of knowing what solutions have worked so far, but he's doing this, you know, really after having discussed with his, you know, competitors. Um, his fellow competitors in ISO or uh, during the preview. But other than that, 
He's doing this purely on, on instinct, so yep. you got to respect that. That's a uh, great shot there of, of Petra trying to get that extra toe hook. But, yeah, I mean, instinct is a big thing, and you can talk about the boulders all you want, but once you're standing underneath them and once you're touching the holds, sometimes your plan just goes out the window. And he is going to try once this way. Crowd letting him know that they like the beta, but he does not. He looks just gassed. Is that it for Gregor? He's got 35 seconds to go, so he'll probably try it again, but he's shaking his head. Yeah, but he knows that Yoshiyuki is right behind him. He knows that, I mean, if I think he's, uh, he's opening his chalk bag, and Petra doing the same. She's looking at the clock, looking at the crowd, kind of looking at each other. Should we give them one more? Yes. Yeah, yeah we will. As long as the crowd gets behind them, they're going to give us one more. Ali. Everything you got, Petra. Time to go. Just reeling that in. That's a hard move. Last try here. Great stick. So Gregor runs out of gas. Petra still moving. I think it's going to come down to this toe hook, Phil. Will she find it? Not enough. Full effort, Petra and Gregor. Petra yeah. able to secure the zone. And so far. And they're going to have a toast. Cheers to each other. Cheers to the crowd. Absolutely, yes. And uh, we're bringing in underprivileged kids to, to have them climb and uh, really just have a good time developing new skills, uh, learning about themselves in a different context, and hopefully, um, yeah, making, uh, making a positive impact in their lives. And I'm sure they are. Oh, my goodness. Look at the way that Yoshiyuki has started boulder number four. Uh, that was unexpected. Miho up on the start as well, but just he wants to campus this, folks. He definitely does, and oh boy, just too much torque, Phil. And yeah. look at Miho here finding that toe hook, not and quite, but not needing it. Crossing over with relative ease, Pete. That's impressive, Phil. That's really impressive climbing. Are we going to see a top here? And she knows what she has to do. Oh. Big move to finish. And asking for the brushers to help her out here because those slopers have uh, gotten some love from all the other climbers so far. And uh, wow, just came up short. Look how far this left hand has to travel. This is You absolutely have to go at least left hand first to finish. And that is a long, long way. I don't think the right hand is good enough to match. Be interesting to see if Miho thinks it is. Maybe that'll get her closer, but you're jumping off smears. That it's a hard move, Phil. It's just the last move of that boulder is going to be spicy. And I'm amazed at the way Yoshi started this boulder. Yeah, I, don't I wonder know if, if he's going to do it again or if it's just like <laughs> a level of excitement. He's going to slow it down this time. Nope. What? That's ridiculous. Well... He's just putting on a show here, folks. And is he opting to put a foot somewhere? Not this time. Oh, oh. he's going to oh stab God. it out to save the swing. Yoshiyuki Ogata putting on a clinic here in Montreal. This looks good, Phil. Oh, my God. There's your winner right there. We got a new champ at Block Shop Open, and it's Yoshiyuki Ogata for the men. Amazing. Amazing work. Miho Tanaka maybe going to ride the wave of the crowd. It is deafening in here, Phil. What does she have? Yes. Going double. That's a, another a podium for Miho. That's a win on the last boulder from these two Japanese powerhouses. Phil, I don't know what to tell you. That was amazing.
It was amazing, and the crowd got behind them just before chanting Gamba Gamba. Um, wow, Pete, I'm speechless. I'm so impressed. A cheers from Yoshi and Miho. The crowd is on their feet, Phil. Standing ovation for that kind of finish to a competition. Wow, amazing Those are big climbing. smiles. And you can't, you can't, you know, script a better outcome, Pete. You know, no. those two climbers coming in, and uh, Miho's giving Dr. Step her beer. Yeah, it's just, he's like, I don't need to try and chug this beer after uh, the upper. The belt here at the 2019 Block Drop Open. Four tops for the win. Petra Klingler, three tops for second place. And then Kyra Condi staying on the podium. Two tops rounding out the field. Michaela Tracy, Madison Fisher, and Megan Lynch. On the men's side of things, we'll have a quick look. And everybody's still standing here, folks. Yeah, so there you go. Four tops from Yoshiyuki Ogata for the win. Keito Watanabe with three tops for second place. And Mika Mawem staying on the podium. Two tops for third. Rounding Yoshiyuki up Ogata, tonight's big winner. So, <laughs> Yoshiyuki, how do you train? How do you train? Uh, actually, I must, I'm just climbing. Like, especially in the competition season, I just climb. Then in the winter, it means like off season. I do some exercise like power training. Yeah, but normally I'm just climb. Just climbing and <laughs> wow. How, how well, uh, you just climbed so well, Yoshiyuki. Um, tell me, how do you feel about your recent string of comps? You won in Vail, you won Adidas Rockstars, yeah. you won Block Shop Open. How do you feel? Yeah, it is just amazing. Like, in like, in this competition, I'm just enjoying, like, in front of the best audience. Especially this time, the crowd was, like, un unbelievable huge. Yeah. Yeah, I was just enjoying in front of the audience. And uh, tell me, Yoshiyuki, what are the next steps uh, in your uh, in the next couple of weeks for your climbing? Next cup. Uh, uh, I don't know if I will have any competition after this, but I think I will take small break and I will study in the university. Then I will see. All right. Well. Uh, it, thank you very much for your time, Yoshiyuki. Yeah, thank uh, you amazing very much. competition and uh, congratulations on being the yeah, 2019 Block Shop Open uh, yeah, winner. Thank you. <laughs> thank All you right. for inviting. It was so fun. Great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your Block Shop Open 2019 winner, Miho Nanaka. Miho, congratulations. Thank you. Really, really impressive climbing over the round. Uh, the only climber to top boulder number four. Yeah, Did yeah. you know you were the only one when you were coming out? Did you think it had been topped? Uh, I'm not sure, but I, yeah, but I knew everyone doesn't get, didn't get the top. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Hardest boulder of the round was that the hardest boulder of the entire round? Um, was that? I mean, that they're all quite difficult. This one gave some climbers the most trouble but yeah. it didn't seem to give you a lot of trouble. Yeah, but I think the last problem was the hardest problem. Right. Yeah. But I really enjoyed every problem, so yeah. That's why I could make it all, all that's, problems. That's good, and you just said just a minute ago you had a, ra you had a great competition. You enjoyed the whole weekend. You enjoyed the route setting. The boulders were good. Yeah, I love every boulders. Yeah, I really love it. Great. Had, had you been to Montreal before? No. no? This is for, uh, first this time? Is, yeah, first time. And uh, are you staying at all or are you going straight home? Uh, I'm going to stay the next five days. Oh, great. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I'm going to climb. I don't know. Where is the... Do you have the Lakeman? The climbing gym? Uh, which one? I don't know. Where? <laughs> which climbing gym? A block shop? Yeah. Here. Here. Uh, and there is one more block shop. There's another block shop just on the other side of town. So there's, okay. a, there's another location of the block shop. So there's two gyms. Yeah. Okay. I will come maybe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you think you're going to set any routes? Are you a good route setter? 
Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So I think, I think the, the people here would be pretty psyched if you set a route or two to leave a bit of a legacy. Yeah. Um, I will tell you this, the crowd got behind you. They were excited to watch you throw down. Um, I, we were very excited. You climbed with real, real poise. It was a pleasure to watch. Thank you um, so much. And I wish you all the best in the rest of your season and the Olympics. Are you excited about the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because of Tokyo. Exactly. Yeah. And you're, I mean, that is going to be amazing. And you're starting to train. You're going to take a little bit of time off or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take it off. Yeah, but I, I was, I've been struggling with my shoulder injury. Right. Yeah, so yeah, maybe I will take some less and then start training again. That's great. And uh, so we look forward to watching you compete in the Olympics next year. Yeah. Thank you for coming to Montreal. Thank you, you put on a me. great show. Congratulations, Thank a well-deserved win. Thank you so Mihonanaka, much. Mihonanaka, your women's champion, Block Shop Open <laughs> 2019.